We got a question from one of our viewers here it says, if I retire early, will health insurance be affordable? Is the Affordable Care Act health insurance a good option? It's also known as Obamacare. So we're going to take a look at this topic here today on a, on the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. We're going to break down the cost and we're going to see if this is something that would benefit you. So I want to thank you for joining us here. My name is Richard with Wisdom Investor. Before we get into the cost of health insurance and the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, we're going to just look at some basic health insurance options. If a person should retire early, they leave their job, what are they going to do? Uh, so if you leave your job, the first option, you, you can use the COBRA continuation that the company provides. There's also an option maybe if you have a spouse and the spouse has insurance, you may want to slide over into their plan if that's available. The public marketplace, which is also known as the Affordable Care Act is what we're going to take a look here at today. And then you have the option with private insurance. In addition to private insurance, there's also some insurance programs called health care sharing programs that are available. Okay, we're going to get into the cost of the Affordable Care Act. And the map here shows each state in the United States and some of the states are darker than others. The darkest are the most expensive states for the Affordable Care Act and the lighter states are the least expensive. So I'm not going to go through every state, but we're just going to take a look at some examples here. Now, Massachusetts out here is one of the least costly states for the Affordable Care Act. 300 says here $332 premium. Now, one of the things that is involved with the Affordable Care Act is subsidies where you can reduce those premiums. We're going to take a look at the subsidies and how you qualify for those subsidies to get a reduced premium in just a moment. First we're going to just cover this map here and just take a look at some of the overall costs from high to low. Uh, looks like Minnesota is $326. That's uh, one of the lighter states here. Look down here at New Mexico 365. Now, if we look at it on the higher side, at the darker states, we've got Vermont at 622. We have Maine over here at 544. We have Iowa at $762 per month. This is an average monthly premium. We have Nebraska at 838. And then we have Wyoming at 865. So you can see it varies. Down here in Florida is $477 per month. Texas, 444 and out here in California, 435. So this gives you an idea of what the overall average costs are. We're going to look at some of the subsidies and how you can reduce that and who qualifies. Okay, so we're looking at the subsidy program for the Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. So there's a lot of numbers here. I'm going to show you an easy way to look at these numbers and not let them uh, get uh, blurried eyed here. So uh, what we're looking at here on the upper end here is the maximum limits. This is, this is income. These are numbers in income here on the uh, right hand column here, 48,560, 65. And then on the other side is the number in the household. You have one person in the household, that's you, uh, two people, you and the spouse, for example, three and four. We're going to hold this conversation here to the level of four people in the uh, household just to keep our content at a uh, reduced time level. The numbers at the top is 100% uh, is of the uh, poverty level and so basically that's a little confusing but it's basically uh, one times, two times, three times, and four times so we're not going to be overly concerned with those numbers. Our main number here is our limits we're going to look at. We're going to go through each category here and do two case examples of what the cost would be so give you an idea and of course we can't do every situation because it's uh, unlimited also insurance is going to depend on what state you're in even down to what county you're in even uh, whether you're a smoker non-smoker your age so there's various uh, situations here that determine the cost our first example is going to be looking at a single person. We're going to first look at 
this uh, level of 48,560. If you're a single person and you earn over 48,560, you would not qualify for a subsidy. If you're below that, you're going to qualify for a subsidy and reduce your cost. So this first example is going to be at 48,000 and then the second example will be at 30,000. So let's take a look at our numbers here. Here's how the Affordable Care Act would work for you if you were making $48,000 per year. You would uh, have a total insurance cost before the subsidy, $584. You would qualify for $190 subsidy, and that would leave your monthly total at $394 per month. Now, if you're in a situation where you have $30, thousand dollars in income again the total amount would be 584 and you get a subsidy of 378 dollars and the total would be 207 so you can see if you make less money you're going to get a higher subsidy to reduce the cost okay we're going to take a look at the next level this is with two people in a household and we're going to look at our limits of 65,000 a person earning 65,000 and 40,000 now keep in mind we're doing an example here of a person age 50, the spouse is age 50, to just keep the uh, conversation simple. We're also using a zip code in Dallas, Texas, since that was kind of a medium range on the overall cost. So let's take a look at our first example, 65,000, 50-year-old non-smoker. And uh, let's take a look at this. The overall insurance for two people, two 50-year-old adults, is $1,169. You get a subsidy of $635. That's subtracted from the $1,169. It leaves you a total cost per month of $534. In this case, with earning two people earning a total of $65,000. And here's the example with an income of $40,000 with two adults 50 years old. The total cost is $1,169. You get a Subsidy of $899 with a total cost on $270 per month. So the situation with a lower income is going to have a lower cost in the Affordable Care Act. Our next example we're going to use is with a three-member uh, household here. And so the maximum limit here is $83,120. So if a person or family is earning more than 83120 they would not qualify for the subsidy if they're earning less than that then you would qualify so there is some strategies also in reducing your modified adjusted gross income so that you meet these levels now this example here for the uh, one child in this family is going to be 10 years old we're gonna look at $80,000 level and a $50,000 level and see how that comes out. Okay, so here's the example with a three-person family, one child 10 years old, two adults at 50 years old, and earning 80,000. Total insurance cost 1,419, a subsidy of $762. Total cost per month, $657 per month. By the way, all these plans are quoted on what's called the silver plan. The second case is a $50,000 income for the family with one child, and there's a total cost of $1,400. Substitute is $1,085, a total cost of $334. So again, you can see the lower income has a lower cost for the Affordable Care Act. We're going to look at the fourth case here. Maximum limit here is $100,400 over that. There's no subsidy below that, and it's going to depend on income. And we're going to look at with four people in the household, two children, one 10, one 8, both adults 50 years old. So we're going to look at $100,000 income and $70,000 income. So the $100,000 income family, the total cost is $1,670, a, a subsidy of $848. They're going to pay $822 uh, for monthly cost for their Affordable Care Act. The $70,000 income family is, has a cost of $1,670. The subsidy, $1,131, a total cost of $538. So about $300 per month less if you're making $70,000.
And I'm going to do one last example. This is an example of 105,000, two children, two parents, total cost 1,670, and there's zero subsidy in this case. Again, they went over that $104,000 uh, maximum limit. So they would be paying $1,670. So we've been looking at the cost of the Affordable Care Act. If a person should retire early before age 65, in this case we use an example of 50 to kind of catch the uh, mid-range there of, of folks who are retiring early. And so you can see what the costs are for the Affordable Care Act. And so some of these subsidies do help out in certain cases. Now, if you're over those limits, then you want to look at ways of trying to reduce your modified adjusted gross income. So again, we looked at this uh, situation here. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments about the Affordable Care Act and the cost of it, Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, and retiring early, please leave your comments. Thank you for watching.